just like I could be sat here now and I could have been all right five minutes ago. I don't know what it is, but I just don't want anyone to be around me, mm. not even my son. And, and, and me and him are like that. But when that happens, she takes him away now because she started to realise it because we don't know what it is. Mm. I start to get ratty with him for no reason. Mm. Um, and then he goes away and then a spell away, maybe a day or so, um, and you feel better then. Mm. But the spells I've had in the past could last two months, three months. The worst thing that caused me is you could, I could stand in the middle of a pitch and I could have just scored two goals in the game before and you feel as if you don't belong there. That was the worst thing. I feel as if that you shouldn't be there, this shouldn't be me, it should be somebody else. And you feel... I always used to feel as if, you know, there was something wrong. I shouldn't I should I shouldn't have been the one that was playing there. Even though I don't know, I couldn't ra- I couldn't rationally think back and go, but remember that game there, you were really good and you did this and you did that and he did that. I don't know, it's hard to describe you like in a in a cave of thinking that nothing you do is any good. That's what it was like for me. And if if I could step back and look at my life, you'd go, you've not done too bad, you've not done brilliant, but you've done okay, but you don't see it like that. Everything you think is is rubbish, garbage. That's that's what I'm like. Mm. Still now, nah. for all the good things that have happened to me since I've spoke up in Carlisle and places like that, I took a lot of stick as well. So there's always someone that's going to throw mud at you. Well, so you can't be big enough to take, oh, you're getting called out of all kinds. Because there's people out there that are just bigots, so no matter what, you know, they'll always they can find something that's a weakness. They'll they'll uh, they'll, they'll they'll give it you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had all that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've sat here watching Everton, and that's not an excuse. And then uh, and thought I've had enough. Just gonna go down and and do it. But then I what always clicks back in my mind is my my family, and that luckily enough I've got my family. I think that people that se- severe bouts of it. I worry that they don't go to somebody because I have got a buffer zone. If you've not got that, if you're just on your own, then you know I, I really worry about someone. Then that's why we did something in Carlisle where we just got people to just ring up if they didn't think they had anyone, just for a chat. And I think that worked well up there. But you know, with the stigma attached to it, mm-hmm. and sometimes not knowing, you you know, you might not know what's going on like I didn't. Then uh, you know a lot of people don't say anything, and then turn to drink and drugs, and you know the the life's over then. Mm.